Hey guys, today I have a very special announcement. I've called a few of my friends from the Singapore national team and they're nice enough to head over here to show you guys how to do the smashing technique. That's right, stay tuned. Hey guys, this is Gerald. You know that guy in the playing group. You know the guy that everyone calls him the Hulk, the beast, the bomber. The guy who smashed just seems to perpetually destroy everything. That's right, that guy is not you unfortunately, but when he tries to teach you how to smash, you always get something like this. Hey bro, you should try smashing more. You'll win a lot more points like this. So have no fear. In this video, I'll be talking about the smashing technique. I'll even cover how can you do the jump smash, as well as the different variations of the jump smash technique. All right, so let's begin. We have a lot of things to cover today. The first is the contact point. Where do you hit the shuttle? Second is the swinging technique. How you swing to get to generate maximum power. And third, the footwork. Most important, the footwork so that you can get yourself in position so that you can do or generate or do the best possible kind of smashing technique. All right, so let's start with the basics. The most important thing is that you must, must, must hit the shuttle in front of your body. So now let's talk about the sweet spot of the racket. You see, this is the racket head. The most common misconception is that the sweet spot is in the center of the racket. And that is so not true. The best place to hit the shuttle is actually this point here. All right, so the easy way to remember this is to think of it as an inverted triangle. You, you see, there's a triangle here. All right, then this is the base of the triangle. So this is the spot where you can get maximum power in your smashing techniques on your smashing shot. So now let's talk about the swinging technique. Personally, I find throwing shuttle to be the easiest or the most effective way for me to learn because uh, by practicing throwing the shuttle downwards as hard as you can or as far as you can, uh, you practice the entire movement in one swing. Another very popular method to practice this technique is the one, two, three technique. So basically what they do is they break down the technique into three different parts. Uh, there are variations of this one, two, three methods, like where is position two. Uh, so this is one example of the one, two, three method. So now that you know both techniques, do try them both out to see which one suits you best so that you can improve the fastest possible way. So it is important to note that before you progress into the jump smash, you must first nail down the basic smashing technique. That's right, it is very, very, very important that you are very comfortable to smash without jumping before moving on to the jump smash. So that means that pretty much every single shuttle that comes towards you, as long as you don't have to jump, you pretty much can hit them like bam, bam, bam. You don't miss, you can control exactly where you want to smash, left or right, up or down, you know, if, if you want a flat smash or a sharp smash, before you can even talk about jumping. Finally, once you're done with the basics, now let's talk about the jump smash. That's right. So why do we even do the jump smash in the first place? Well, the first key reason is that your smash is a lot steeper. What do I mean by steeper? So check this video out. Whenever, when I throw a very steep shuttle, it lands a lot quicker than when I throw the shuttle very flat. So basically, the higher you jump, the faster the shuttle reaches the ground. So you want to jump really high if you can. So not only does the shuttle land a lot quicker, you get to the shuttle a lot quicker as well. So that's two forces 
increasing the speed of the game basically. So because when you reach the shutter quicker, that means that your opponent has a lot less time to react. So by utilizing these two factors, the jump smash brings your speed to a whole new level. So when you're trying to learn the jump smash, the most, most, most important thing is for you to like this video and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you. And the second most important thing is all about the timing. That's right. The jump smash is basically coordinating the timing between your jump and hitting the shuttle. So that's why I emphasize that it is so important that you need to nail down your basics first before trying the jump smash. Then now the question becomes, how do you practice the different kind of jumping techniques? So let's start off with the basic smashing footwork. So you move back, you take a step forward, and then you smash. Then the second thing is to practice the stationary scissors jump. So it looks something like this. And then the next progression is to move backwards and then do the scissors jump. So once you can get this stationary footwork, we are going to talk about the advanced footwork now. So the advanced footwork is kind of like a variation of the scissors jump, but now the difference is that you're jumping backwards while doing the scissors jump. So last but not least is the box jump. So the box jump is a unique uh, footwork at the baseline that is kind of different because uh, it gives you more speed but it sacrifices power in exchange for the speed. So this is how the box jump looks like from the forehand side as well as the backhand side. So of course the box jump for the overhead corner is the hardest so I would recommend avoiding that or not to use that as often. So once you can get all of that down, you need to practice that together with smashing. And bam, you can combine everything together, add in a war cry like so and sa, and you get something like this. And that's how you do the basic jump smash. That's right, it's only basic. If you want to learn even more advanced smashing techniques, you gotta check out my video on the four different ways you can smash somewhere here or here. And be sure to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.